I'm Melody C. I'm all about scuba. A viewer recently asked me, Melody, why dive nitrox? In this new three-part series on enriched air nitrox, E-A-N, E-A-N. So what is nitrox? Why dive nitrox? In this video, coming up. So this needs to be said. This video is not intended to replace an enriched air nitrox class or certification. If you intend to dive with nitrox, then take a class, become certified from a reputable organization and instructor, since diving with nitrox can be fatal or cause serious injury. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so enriched air nitrox or EAN, EAN is any oxygen blend that is above the normal oxygen blend of 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen, which is in what you normally breathe, the regular air. So, any oxygen content that is above the 21% oxygen is considered a nitrox blend. So with a higher percentage of oxygen and a lower percentage of nitrogen, you'll breathe in less nitrogen. Why do we care? Nitrogen is the leading cause of the bends or the boiling blood. Don't do that. So here's 10 reasons why you might want to try EAN. The first being it increases your bottom time. You can stay down a lot longer. Longer. <laughs> So at a depth of approximately 80 feet, breathing air, you're going to have a bottom time of approximately 30 minutes. Whereas if you run an EAN blend mix of 32% oxygen, you're going to increase your bottom time approximately 15 minutes for a total of approximately 55 minutes bottom time. Reason number two, it's safer when you're doing multiple dives in one day to be diving with EAN. It's because you're taking in less nitrogen overall. So with air, you'll take in, oh, maybe this much, but with EAN, you'll be taking maybe this much. So all that nitrogen in your body builds up over time. Every time you dive, a little residual is left in your system that you have to actually do what's called a surface interval. That's where you sit out and bask <laughs> for that. So you sit out, you bask, you lay out, you eat, you drink, whatever. You are essentially expelling the nitrogen out of your system when you're doing a surface interval. Well, when you're diving air, you have a lot more nitrogen to get rid of with EAN, you don't have as much. So how does this equate to your second and third dives? If you're diving air, you won't be able to go down as long. If you're diving EAN, your second and third dives can be much longer. Reason number three, three. <laughs> less surface interval time. So if you're breathing in EAN, then you're taking in less nitrogen, which the nitrogen has to be gassed off during your surface intervals. You can have a shorter surface interval time. If you're in a hurry, you can go dive again, or you can take the standard one hour uh, surface interval and do a longer, deeper dive than you would be able to do with air. Reason number four, no pushing your decompression limits, your NDL times, or your no stop times, which is the time limit of the amount of time you're allowed at a particular depth. Now, no decompression limits vary from dive to dive, depending on the depth and also the recent dives that you have just made. So with all this extra time, you can come up at any time within that amount of extra time and still be way under your nitrogen level than had you have been diving with air. Reason number five, you actually feel better. A lot of divers actually say they feel better after their dive if they ran an EAN, and that's because they get a higher dose of oxygen, and it's kind of like going to an oxygen bar. It boosts you. Reason number six, 
no special equipment is needed. If you run an EAN of less than 40% oxygen and you have a decent computer, you will not have to invest in another computer or equipment. Most regulators and computers are compatible now with EAN gas. Reason number seven, you'll have a faster overnight recovery time after your dives. So you'll off gas faster for the next day's dive set. So let's say you do two night dives at about 80 foot depth in about 30 minutes. You'll have a lot less nitrogen built up in your system to off gas during your sleep. So you'll be ready the next morning to dive again because the more nitrogen that you have in your system that you breathe in, the more you have to sit out. Boo. Reason number eight, it's safer when flying. So when you fly, the pressure is further decreased, which expands nitrogen in your system. So this expansion actually exposes you to possible decompression sickness while in the air because of all those nitrogen bubbles expanding further than they would had you have been on land. This is why Patty says that you need to wait in between diving and flying. So Patty says that if you do one dive, then you need to wait 12 hours. If you do two dives, then you need to wait 18 hours before you can fly safely. So by using EAN instead of air, you have less nitrogen in your system. So when you fly and that nitrogen expands, you have a less chance of getting decompression sickness. Reason number nine. So it's always great to have nitrogen on hand because it can be used as an emergency gas. So if somebody on the boat is showing signs of decompression sickness, has a headache or something like that, or arterial gas embolism, then you can use the EAN gas as an emergency gas to give them until they can reach you emergency help. So it's always really nice to have nitrogen on the boat or dive boat just in case that something might happen and you need to use it for an emergency. Reason number 10. You'll just look a heck of a lot cooler with this nice green label on your air tank. So watch for my next two episodes on EAN. And don't forget to check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram account. And for goodness sake, subscribe already. Until next time, happy diving.